Okay guys, this is what your hair should look like um, somewhat if you leave this in for about two hours. Um, mine's been in a lot longer than that, but you should see of signs of it lightening your hair if you have like a brown or a dark brown or even black hair. There should be little parts of it that start to turn like very light to a blondish color. Um, after you do this, which is what my hair was before, but as you can see my hair is very stiff. Um, there's like all kinds of lightness up here and it's probably the baking soda actually. So, it's like 1 in the morning. So, I'm going to go ahead and wash this out. Um, again, you will not be able to brush it <laughs> for a few days. Um, I probably won't brush it again till Saturday when I need to wash it again. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this out of my hair. Okay guys, it's Thursday. I'm going to show you my hair in a minute. But this is my normal routine in the morning. I go through all of my plants and make sure they have enough water, if they're in water culture, and just check on the ones that aren't. So. That is what I'm going to do. So this is what everybody looks like right now. Just pretty darn good. So, yep, going to go through them, make sure they have enough water if they need it. And that's going to be for the plants at least. Okay, so now we're going to let Koji in since he's gone to the bathroom to do it. And we're going to do our new more routine, which is give you all your pills. So much fun. So here are his pills. He gets these once a day. He gets these twice a day, which means he gets one in the morning, one afternoon. When these are gone, I'll be so happy. <laughs> so I gotta take two pill pockets out. Okay, I gotta close these pill pockets pretty, and I'm gonna hand them to him. I did not throw it yet. I didn't even attempt to throw it. It's right here. Sit. Koji. Oh my god. He's lost it. Koji. He's lost his mind right now. See, it's right here. There you go. Oh, you tried. That's good. Nope. I don't see it. Oh, that's not it. It's vitamin. D vitamin. D vitamin. There you go. I've never given you this vitamin in the past few days. I have been forgetting that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out what I need to take out for dinner tonight, which is hamburgers. So we're going to go over here to the freezer. And there's the burger. And what I do is that they are completely frozen. Is I put in the mic. Just let sit in here for a few hours and see if they're dissolved by dinner time. But today all I gotta do is I have to finish editing my cross stitch roast bee pattern, which I forgot to do. I tried to get it done last night, there was like no way I was gonna get it done last night. And then edit yesterday's vlog and that's it. So Right now, I'm going to go to the bathroom, which has, has the biggest mirror, and I'm going to turn on the light, and I'm going to show you the next day what your hair should look like if you leave this in all day. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend you doing that, but if you are risky, like I was, and you want to see how light your hair gets if you leave it in all day, I think I left it in for a good six to eight hours. But I was willing to take the risk of my hair falling out. So if you're willing to take the risk of your hair falling out, I would go for it. But if not, just two hours would work. So yeah. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, if you're doing if you're using the actual um bleach that you buy at the store, do what the box tells you. Because if you leave it in longer than it tells you, you might actually lose hair. I think this is that uh, DIY treatment. <clears throat> it's not as toxic to the hair. and won't make your hair fall out. If not. Okay. 
So I'm going to go get the bathroom set up because I got to move the lamp. Okay, so this is the next day after you wash it out. As you can see, a lot of the purple that was like from here to here has come out. So that's really good. So this is how my hair was before I got it dyed purple. It was like from here down all this color. This is like completely unbrushable at this point. And this is what my hair does. After washing, it goes kaboof everywhere. Um, I would usually brush it. This this doesn't happen if I put it in the um, t-shirt, but I was thinking I wasn't going to brush it, so it didn't really matter if it was in the t-shirt or not. But when you, if you want to avoid frizziness, wrap your hair in a cotton t-shirt and it will be much, much better. So, yeah, this is what my hair looks like the day after. Most of the purple dye is pretty much gone. Uh, I'm just pulling out loose hairs, which happens normally for me. It's not a thyroid thing or something. That's normal. Every few days, a few pieces of hair will fall out. It's not a big deal. It's like if it was in clumps, different situation, but it's not. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing this more then once a week, which is why I do it on a Wednesday. That way my hair has a few days to recover before Tuesday where I like to style it. So I usually just I try to do different styles every week, but sometimes I just don't feel like it. So yeah, this is what it looks like. So excited about it too. Okay guys, I just gotta tell you what just happened. I'm still like very tense about it. I'm still paranoid. Um, a few vlogs back, I was talking about a brown spider that was on my chair, and it freaked me out, and it disappeared, and I don't know where it is. Again, probably the same spider that I saw today. When I saw it, I was just here, chilling, having some chips, watching some YouTube videos to catch up on. And then I see this spider walk from the hallway down here, right about to my laundry basket. I flipped. I paused the video, I put down my chips, I was going to grab the bottle of bug spray, and I didn't see it no more. At this time, Koji was in his bed. Um, so I'm like, okay, I don't know where it is. So I kicked my laundry basket. God. And it jumped from the laundry basket onto Koji, which freaked me out even more. I was trying to call Koji, but he was not budging. And then the spider moved off him, thankfully, and went somewhere. I don't know where it is. So I looked around his bed. Um, I sprayed under the cabinet that we have. So hopefully it went there. I kicked my basket a few times more. I didn't see anything. I'm pretty sure it was the same spider. Because, like, inside right now, I'm screaming my heart out right now. But I said I gotta say calm. Because if I stay calm, Koji will stay calm. Any of you that uh, owns a pet knows this. If you stay calm, your pet will stay calm. Which is why on the inside I'm screaming my head off right now. I don't know where it is. Not a clue. I'm paranoid at this point. I've looked around his bed. I've looked in his bed. I've looked everywhere that I could see where it could possibly go other than under the china cabinet there. So, I'm hoping it went under there because I sprayed that spot a couple of times. So hopefully, I think it was the brown spider that scared me half to death last time. Oh, hey spiders. I don't like them. <laughs> I didn't give Koji a treat because he was nice and calm during the whole thing of me freaking out. Kinda. He was just sitting there chilling. Something jumped on him. He didn't feel it. Or we felt it. He didn't do anything about it. Which was good. Because that could have bit him. I didn't know what was going to happen there. So hopefully it went under the china cabinet. I did spray that a good few times. 
I might do it again. Um, I've seen like little bugs come out from under there. Could you stop it? He's rubbing his eye. He's not supposed to do that because that can get his eye infected. Um, yeah, him rubbing from his ear to his eye can get his eye affected. We've had that once. Not a fun experience. So, I'm calming down just a bit, but that was freaky. I hate spiders. Oh my god, I hate spiders. Oh. See, I don't mind spiders when they're outside. They come in my house. Different story. Different story when you come in my house. I don't care if you're a roach, spider, snake, I don't care. You, If you're meant to be outside and you come in my house, you're, you're pretty much going to die. Pretty much. I'm straight at the chat account because I swear that's the only place we could go. Because if it went in my basket of clothes and like went really deep in there, I'm going to wash those clothes again. It's gonna be hard to sleep tonight. I'm telling you that right now. It's gonna be hard for me to sleep tonight. But I will keep you guys updated. If I kill the spider, I'll kind of show it off, I guess. That is dead. Um, if you don't know what the science of a spider is dead, um, they start curling their legs once they start dying. So, if you see their legs curling, they're pretty much dead. But it so freaked me out when I saw it come from the hallway to my laundry basket. I'm like, uh oh. I better get the bug spray. I better spray the crap out of it. <laughs> Which was going to be my intention. I was going to spray it until the legs started curling or I ran out of spray. <laughs> One or the other. Oof, I am so on edge right now. Oh my god. If anybody is afraid of spiders, you know the on edge feeling I'm feeling right now. It, it looks like a brown spider. And the brown wet glue spiders are dangerous down here in Florida. Oh god. So I hope that wasn't it. Um, it didn't bite Koji. I was watching it pretty pretty closely. It didn't bite Koji. It was just on him, which freaked me out. And then it just moved from him off. So I should probably check Koji anyway for bite marks or anything. Which I'll do. I already give him a treat. Checking things out because I need to find it. I need to kill it. <sighs> so I'm gonna go ahead and check Cody just to make sure there are no bite marks on him. Because if there are, I'm gonna have to research that. Oh god. Please, no bite marks. Okay, guys, I checked Cody. There's no bite marks, which is good. So, I'm going to try to relax and enjoy the rest of the night. Right, Boo Bear? Right? Yeah. Yeah, I do love you. Yes, I do. So okay, guys. It's really late. Koji and I are going to go to bed, but before we do, I just want you guys to know if you like the content that I put out on this channel, please consider subscribing. You can do so by clicking that little red button down below that says subscribe, and if you do subscribe, please don't forget to turn on the bell right next to it so you never miss a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Koji and I can go to bed now because it's really late, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.